people welcome to another video my name is Namalina and today we are talking about shop ship shake and my experience ordering this little guy the teddy bear slippers I am so excited for you guys to hear all about it so if you're in these Facebook groups the hustler groups you know a ton of people have been looking for these teddy bear slippers it's trying to start their business using the teddy bear slippers they're very very popular and super super cute and there were people who were insinuating that you could find these teddy bear slippers in Johannesburg and in all of these wholesaler places, some of which I have shown you guys. Now, I've been to those places and they don't have them. They have the emoji slippers, they have the rabbit ones and the bunny ones. They have all that kind of stuff, but they do not have the teddy bear slippers. And in fact, when you speak to the wholesalers, they say they don't even know what teddy bear slippers are, okay? So then I went back into these Facebook groups. And there were people who were either saying that they have them and they are wholesalers and all of those turned out to be scams. Number two, people were saying that you can find these items on Shop Ship Shake. Now, in these Facebook groups, everybody hates it when people talk about Shop Ship Shake. But I wanted these for personal use. So I was like, you know what? Let's purchase them from Shop Ship Shake. Let's see how it goes. I do know suppliers and factories that make these, but they are for wholesale buyers. And I wasn't looking to purchase these wholesale. I was just looking to purchase them for myself. But if you want them wholesale, you can also get them from Shop Ship Shake. Let's talk about my experience using Shop Ship Shake. Please note that Shop Ship Shake is like AliExpress and Alibaba. It is a platform where like small street sellers, Maravistad sellers, they purchase items bulk there okay the more you buy the more affordable it is the more cheaper it is and it is a wholesale platform okay which means there's an moq and moq is the minimum order quantity that's the minimum amount you need to order for them to sell to you because it is a wholesale platform and the way sss works which is shop ship shake is that they are the middleman so they actually fetch items from different sellers based in china and then they bring them to a warehouse in china then they ship to South Africa. At the time of making this video, I believe they only ship within South Africa, but I, I am aware that they do have plans to expand into the rest of Africa. So I went on to the Shop Ship Shake website, searched for the teddy bear slippers. Now you can either use text and literally write teddy bear slippers, or you can use image search on the Shop Ship Shake website. So if you've seen an item being sold on Instagram, or you've seen somebody wearing it, you can actually just use that picture to search for the item on their website, okay? Now there are tons and tons of sellers selling the exact same thing, some with the exact same pictures, but at different prices. So like I said, Shop Ship Shake SSS is a middleman. Okay, so you will then have to go in, read the reviews if they have reviews available, read the description, and decide which seller you're going for. But there are sellers available selling the exact same item at different prices. And I decided to go with one of the more affordable sellers. So most of the sellers were a little bit more expensive than this. This seller's MOQ is three pieces, so that's the minimum order quantity. And each pair of teddy bear slippers is 120 Rand 0.62, which is essentially essentially 121 rand and because the MOQ is three um, pieces or three pairs I purchased three pairs I purchased the light brown a chocolate brown and a black pair of teddy bear slippers so they are hidden costs with shop ship shake I paid for three pairs of slippers at 121 rand each and then the freight the Chinese freight so from the supplier or the wholesaler to the shop ship shake um, website I paid 32 rand 0.74 so that's one of the hidden fees the price that you see listed on the website that's the price for the item only but you're still going to pay a shipping cost from the wholesaler the supplier to the SSS website, the Shop Ship Shake website, and that's because they're a middleman. The way to explain this for you guys is if you were based internationally and you wanted to purchase from Small Street, from Marabastad, um, I would be SSS in South Africa. So maybe my website is um, Shop Namulina, right? And I have all these different sellers from Small Street and Marabastad listed on my website, and I show items from their shops on my website. Then when you pay me, 
I physically go from Joburg to my rubber stud, fetch the item you want, and I come back and put it in my warehouse in Johannesburg. I would charge you a price for my service, for my time, and for the cost of me going to my rubber stud to get the item you want. And then from there, you would pay again for me to take it to you to Botswana, Swaziland, Nigeria, wherever you are based in the world. Okay, so that's kind of how SSS works. Okay, so I pay for the three pairs. And I also paid the Chinese freight. So I ordered on the 21st and my items were delivered into the SSS warehouse on the 25th. That's because they collect it from a different part of China and bring it to the warehouse. Okay. Now you can leave your item in the warehouse for some time. You can either ship it immediately when it arrives or you can leave it for two weeks, wait for month end, shop from another seller. They bring it to the warehouse. Now you have two items in the warehouse. You essentially have storage in their warehouse and you can ship your items later on. When it arrives in the warehouse, you don't have to ship it at the same time. So they are a middle um, man. Okay, so ordered on the 21st, delivered on the 25th. Now with the website, with Shop Ship Shake, you're supposed to be able to ask for an estimate of how much it would cost for the items that you're ordering to be shipped to South Africa. Because a lot of people have complained about the prices, the shipping prices um, for SSS, for Shop Ship Shake, okay? So you should be able to estimate before you order, before you pay, how much it was. So I went on the website, had my three pairs of teddy bear slippers inside my cart, and I was trying to estimate the shipping to South Africa, and it just kept giving me an error. Apparently, for the items I ordered, there was no way for me to estimate the shipping cost. And there are these people that SSS employs and pays to be your personal assistant, okay? So each personal assistant has a set amount of South Africans that they work with to personally assist. So because I couldn't estimate how much it was, I got in contact with my personal assistant from Shop Ship Shake. This is absolutely free. If you're purchasing from Shop Ship Shake, you do automatically have a personal assistant. As long as you create an account, which is free, you will have a personal assistant from that team, which is absolutely free. Okay, so it's a customer service just for you. So each customer service representative has a set amount of people People that they are personally assisting okay so I spoke to my personal assistant um, from shop ship shake and I said look I really want to get an estimate of how much it would cost to ship these items to South Africa uh, before I pay for them okay how much is it going to cost and she went on and she was like yeah I also can't see it unfortunately for your item we can't get an estimate okay now guys please don't do what I did I purchased anyway Please do not purchase if you cannot get an estimate. Try purchasing the same item from a different seller because you might be shocked at the shipping price, okay? So I paid, got my items delivered into the warehouse, and then once they were in the warehouse, now they were able to give me a shipping estimate, okay? Now remember, because you are purchasing from China, the exchange rate affects how much you pay. They could give you an estimate today and two days later, it could be completely different simply because the exchange rate is constantly changing and they're giving you an estimate at the time that you submit your request. Okay, so I went online and calculated my shipping cost and I found that my shipping to South Africa for three pairs of teddy bear slippers was, and you guys will not believe this, 1,408 rand shipping. To South Africa. Now they do have different shipping methods. You could ship um, using sea freight or you could use air freight. I used air freight because I wanted the item to arrive as quickly as possible. I forgot to mention that one of the reasons why the shipping was so expensive is because the suppliers did not use these suction bags, these airtight bags. They are supposed to use this type of packaging for wholesale orders so that you can save on shipping. If you guys look at inventory unboxings of these teddy bear slippers on TikTok, on Instagram, on Facebook, all the suppliers are using airtight bags so that your shipping cost is lower. And this is one of the problems that I have with Shop Ship Shake. You don't speak directly with the supplier, so you're not even able to find out if they're going to use these type of packaging and you're not able to communicate with them. And it is a supplier's responsibility to work in your best interest. My teddy bear slippers came fully formed. They were supposed to be in suction bags so that you as the buyer and I as the buyer can save money. And that means I can make more profit. 
So when I saw the cost, I was really shocked because imagine if I had purchased these wholesale and I wanted to start a business. If I was excited that, oh, there are 120 Rand, let me purchase 100 of them. I can't imagine how much my shipping would be, okay? And because South Africa is, we are getting out of winter, it doesn't make financial sense right now for somebody to use sea freight simply because it will take so long. By the time it comes to South Africa, we're in spring. It doesn't make sense. It would make sense if it was January and I was using sea freight and it was going to um, arrive in South Africa at the beginning of winter. But I needed to use air freight and my cost for just three pairs of slippers was 1,408 Rand. Okay, so I paid that once again. So they shipped the item on the 27th um, using Buffalo couriers and I paid 1,408 Rand. Then on the 10th, Buffalo Logistics actually sent me a customs sms and an email and i was like already paid 1408 for shipping the items were 120 rand each for these teddy bear slippers and now you guys want to charge me customs so customs fortunately was not that expensive it was 71 rand 0.58 so essentially 70 to run okay so that is my experience so i ordered three pairs of teddy bear slippers so the item actually shipped on the 27th i paid customs and got my customs sms on the 10th and then they delivered them on the 12th of july so two days after paying for customs okay so let me show you guys the teddy bear slippers so this is the first pair of teddy bear slippers i'll leave a picture on the side for you guys to get an idea of how you wear them this is the light brown shade very very cute um the only thing i don't like about this and i'll talk about other stuff later but for now is that i can already see like the fur coming out here so i'd have to cut that off um other than that um the grip is standard it really is nothing amazing even the lining inside is nothing exquisite i appreciate that they use the same color this is where your foot would go in i really appreciate that they use the same color but other than that it's nothing exquisite they do have a little hole here it's not a hole it's where the leg and the um arm of the teddy bear are touching each other and then they have stitched these two um firmly together so it does keep its shape in a little everyone <laughs> It will come with snacks, but it's super, super cute. And this is the second pair of teddy bear slippers. This is the chocolate brown shade. It is more of a milk chocolate than a dark chocolate. Very, very cute. And then lastly, I've got the black teddy bear slippers. All of these teddy bear slippers are going to be on my Yaga store for sale. So if any of you guys are interested in purchasing these, these will be on my Yaga store. And the reason I am selling them, which really hurts me, like it breaks my heart because I really wanted to keep these, is because teddy bear slippers should be a one size fits all or a one size fits all most unfortunately for me they do not fit okay um and the reason they don't fit is the way they designed these teddy bear slippers the opening here so this is where your foot comes in the opening here is too tight to fit me i'm a size seven okay so it's too tight here my foot can't navigate in inside down here this is more than enough space like if i put my foot um here it fits right and there's more than enough space like i don't know if you guys can see that but my finger is literally up till there so you have all this space for your foot um but the opening here is far too small okay so this for me fits a size five and a size of four okay those are the people who can wear this even a size three you can wear this but a size five and four you'll be able to fit your foot inside i'm not sure about a size six i don't think you'd be able to fit because this space here like the opening here right here it just it it's just too tight okay so on the website they do state that it is 26 centimeters which is perfect for somebody who's a size seven from here to here 26 centimeters but what they forgot to mention is that the opening is too tight so it unfortunately does not fit now i spoke to my assistant when the item arrived and i let them know that look i purchased these items and they don't fit and literally all they said was i'm so sorry that was it like that, that that was it that was i'm so sorry um so there are quite a few cons okay let's start with this if you paid 1408 to ship three pairs to south africa you paid 32.74 for korea within china from them to fetch them from the supplier 
to shop ship shake and then i also paid 361.87 for all three pairs together and i divided that by three that means my cost price i'm talking as an entrepreneur somebody who if somebody wanted to start a business that means my cost price for this would be 687 as my cost price so tell me if this if this just one pair costs me 687 how much would i sell this for like that becomes crazy like how much would i be selling these teddy bear slippers for if it costs me 687 so unfortunately right now the exchange rate is in our favor which is really good but um shipping prices have skyrocketed um worldwide okay this is not new to just shop ship shake even though they've always had quite a interesting you know shipping price um shipping costs have gone really high and they've affected so many businesses so many so many businesses okay so 687 now remember i am in the wholesale business i i understand wholesaling and i talk to some of my suppliers like the contacts that i know and if you purchase these items directly from the factory it actually costs 67 rand point 50. now this is for wholesale when you're purchasing a thousand pairs when you're purchasing um two thousand ten thousand pairs serious wholesaling okay uh, it costs 67.50 and this is why um shops in marabastat and small street are able to work better than us because they'll come together purchase a thousand pairs ten thousand pairs and then their cost price including their shipping and customs will be like a hundred rand per pair and they can sell the items for 150 200 when your cost price just buying three pairs in jail, just testing the market with three pairs just testing the market with three pairs your cost price is 687 it is absolutely ridiculous um, and it's not something you can necessarily start a business with at 687 so one of my cons with shop ship shake is that you don't talk to the sellers and that really creates um area and room for them to not scam you but to add extra cost so i don't know right now if maybe from the chinese sellers um this item is actually like a hundred rand and shop ship shake adds that 20 rand 0.62 because they have to make their money some way like paying the assistants that to talk to us um customer service their website advertising they have to make money some way so you start to wonder how is shop ship shake making their money you know and one of the easiest ways for a middleman to make money is to ensure that you're not talking to the other person okay so that's one of my issues with shop ship shake the website prices the prices that you're seeing on their website you don't know if they've added their own cost to them you can't even talk to the manufacturers and get like customization done or anything of the sort which i really don't appreciate i personally think when you're running a business talk directly to the wholesaler talk directly to the factory because with the factories this pair of teddy bear slippers cost 67.50 when you're purchasing it on shop ship shake one of the cheapest sellers it is 120.62 that's like nearly double the price okay um so now i start to wonder like how much money has shop ship shake added if they've added any money personally i think it's a personal choice about what works best for your business but i think if you can contact the factories directly find a way to purchase directly from factories with my company we sell information to contact factories directly where you talk directly with the factory you're not talking um with like middlemen or anything of the sort so it does reduce the prices a lot and you're able to then customize and say you know what i want mine to have the south african flag when you open it inside or i want mine to light up the eyes i want kitties ones where the eyes light up or i want mine to have my company name at the sole of the foot at the bottom of the foot um, you're able to do so much more and you're able to negotiate and have better prices when you can talk directly to the suppliers okay so guys that is my experience shopping from shop ship shake there's somebody on instagram who said she can't stand these teddy bear slippers because it feels like animal abuse it's like you're stamping the poor teddy bear in their heart i think they're super cute i'm just really disappointed that after spending so much and waiting so long 
I am not able to fit this, even though it was advertised as a one size fits all. So this will be on my Yaga store. If any of you guys are based in South Africa, you're a size four or you're a size five, um, these will be great for you. I will have these on my Yaga store for sale. Keeping in mind that my cost price for me to pay for all of this was 687. It's crazy, guys. It is literally, it's just... It's crazy. It's crazy. This is something you can't really start a business with. Guys, please check out Shop Ship Shake. I'll have the link in the description box. Let me know which other items you guys want me to review for you guys. I already have handbags from them that I'm going to review for you guys later on in the year. I've already purchased them, so I'll talk about that shipping experience, how much it was. And we'll also be able to compare what they advertised online compared to what I actually received in person. But if there's anything else you guys want me to purchase there, except for hair. I'm not going to be buying hair from them. I'm not interested in it. Guys, I just want top quality hair. This set is from Impreka. I do have a video about it as well, so you can check them out. It is like the skin's dupe stuff. Very, very cozy. But once again, I had a lot to say. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, don't contact me. Please don't email me because last time I did this video, people emailed me things that they should be asking customer service. Now, I'm not trying to be rude, but there are people who are paid to help you. Okay, there's customer service from Shop Ship Shake. You have a personal assistant who is paid to help you. Contact them. Don't contact me. Okay, I'm just a buyer just like you guys. So if you see something online and you don't understand, talk to customer service, don't talk to me. If you have a question about their website, talk to customer service, don't talk to me. Um, I really do not like being an unpaid customer service rep. No, 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 no. Guys, time is money. Time is money. Um, please talk to people who are paid to spend time answering any and every question you have. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Oh.